here we are. We're at Whitney Portal Campground, and tomorrow morning we're going to wake up at the crack of dawn and hit the trail. And um, I don't know that I have what it takes to make it all the way to the top. And time will tell. Um, the most important thing is being safe, and we're prepared to turn around if we feel that things are exceeding our, our comfort zone and head back down the mountain. I am wood glue and this behind me is Mount Whitney. Right now we're at uh, Whitney Portal Campground and um, we got into a campsite here. Our buddies are showing up a little bit later on, but um, got our tent set up and everything is uh, coming together here. So this is something we look forward to for a long time and um, here it is. Truth be told, I'm a little bit nervous about this uh, trip and it's just because of the unknown that we have up there um, you know I'm not uh, real familiar with uh, the quote-unquote mountaineering stuff and it's late October right now uh, we're gonna get some super cold temperatures so we've got the gear we're ready for the cold um, temperatures here at Whitney portal shouldn't get too too cold um, we're at a much lower elevation we're gonna get settled in here and eat some food and uh, hit the hay because it's gonna be an early morning tomorrow after that, we uh, head back down from Mount Whitney and we're gonna come back to this camp, completely busted, I'm sure. We'll uh, throw into our tents and spend one more night here. So we've got two nights in here. We're playing hooky from school and work. I've got Bigfoot here with me and that always makes it a little extra exciting. Um, we are looking forward to uh, what tomorrow has to bring. I'm not real sure, but uh, hang tight with me. This will be a good one, no doubt. So it's only about five o'clock, but I already got into all my sleeping clothes. Got my tent all set up. We decided that we're gonna dig out of here around uh, three or 3.30 in the morning. So that'll give us a nice jump. Um, the other guys got here and we are gonna be uh, hitting the trail all together. The gentleman who set this up for, for me he said that he likes to take it easy, nice and slow, and uh, stop and smell the roses kind of thing. So that's pretty cool because um, that will definitely help with altitude as we start climbing up. So I'll take advantage of that where I can. Bigfoot's got his bed made up in the back of the SUV, and that's going to work pretty well for him, I think. We're going to hit the hay here pretty quick, and... Uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Look at that sunrise behind me. Unbelievable, man. We're uh, almost five miles into the morning here. And it's been uh, pretty easy going so far. We've climbed about a thousand feet now. But it's um, nice, gentle switchbacks. Nothing real dramatic.
you all remember Cheese. Cheese went on the uh, Tehachapi hike with me on the PCT. And that's where we broke records. And then, you guys remember Bigfoot. He's a photographer extraordinaire. It's always nice to bring your own photographer on a backpacking trip. He did the uh, Mount San Jacinto mountain and also Apache Peak. We did that hike together. And then this is Afonso. He's new. He's never been backpacking with wood glue. No, not yet. So, there's a first time for everything. There is. And Alfonso is the gentleman that led up this trip. He got us set up with our permits and all that fun stuff. Our new friend Jose, all the way down there, like in the middle of the screen right there. We're rooting him on. See both sides of the world.
We gotta walk up onto that ridge up there. Cross across this valley. But the problem is there's no oxygen. We're all feeling the pain pretty good. Lack of oxygen and sore muscles. All right, so we're climbing and climbing and climbing. And finally, we can see the height. We can see the height. We can see the height. First time. Look at that, we are so close. Absolutely grueling. 900 miles of backpacking, I've never done anything like this. Never done anything this difficult. I had to dig deep on this one. Cheese and Alfonso. You made it, dude. You made it. You don't know how to spell your name. You did it, Jose. You did it, man. I'm tired, man. I'm really tired. I'm Yeah. The book is here. Me. Oh, that's what it's all about, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is probably our last sign. We're headed down the hill and uh, we're back at the trail crest. So now we head into the 
shadow of the mountain. It's gonna be a long night, I think. We're guessing that we'll be into Whitney Portal sometime between 9.30 and 10, depending on how quickly we move through here. We're trying to get through the 99 switchbacks before uh, it gets dark, because that's no fun in the dark. So, I'm kind of hauling the mail here. So way down there, those tents down there, that's the location of the end of the switchbacks, the 99 switchbacks. So we're almost there. And as you can see, it's not getting dark yet, so looks like we're gonna make it off of this. Look at that little guy. Hi. 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 So we we're all the way up there. That's Trail Crest, right in the middle of the screen. And we came down the so called 99 switchbacks. And it'll pick up here. We ran ahead so we could filter water and not hang them up. But now, made it to the switchbacks. We still don't need our headlamps, which is cool. And this is the camp area right here that we saw from way up there. Be able to get our water near here which is a good thing because I've got like two sips of water left And just like that, we are done. It took us 11 hours to get up, and it took us seven hours to get back down. So, just brutal. Um, we're really spent, total 22 and change, 22 miles and change. But um, crazy, crazy. Mount Whitney, check that off the uh, to-do list. But um, it's 10 p.m. right now. We started at 4 a.m., hence the uh, brutal aspects of it all. All in all, a really good uh, experience to, uh, to have. Um, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, I'm Wood Glue, and I'll see you on the trail.